Hello everyone, it's Janelle and today's video will be talking about my top 10 nail care items. Basically, it's what I use to prep for a manicure and finish it off. In no particular order, let's start with nail files. I have these all over the place at my house. I file my nails every time before I film and I really don't like the thin, orange, flimsy kind. I think you know what I'm talking about. I prefer a fine to medium grit with a thick board. You can easily find these at beauty stores and drugstores. Oh, and I always file in a single direction. Next up, let's talk about nail clippers. I bought these from Amazon within the last year for around 8 bucks, I think. And since I like my nail tips straight usually, this has been really helpful. I usually only file my edges down to even them out, but if my nails get too long, I'll cut them down with these. I don't know about you, and let me know if you do this too, but if I happen to get those annoying hangnails on the sides of my nail beds, I will pick at them until they hurt. So that's why I bought these cheap cuticle nippers from my local Marshalls. I think they are around $6. So if I see them, I will get rid of them before I do some major damage. Unfortunately, my nails tend to peel, and with everyday life and work, I'm constantly hitting my fingernails against things, so between manicures, I use a nail strengthener. And recently, I started using this Tinted Nail Envy Strengthener from OPI. I've been using the clear one for years, and it's so freaking good! It's like nail makeup with added strengthening benefits, and I love it. Totally my 100% opinion, not sponsored. Before I do my nails on or off camera, I use a cuticle remover to take off that gross dead skin that sits on top of the nail bed. So then when I apply nail polish, I don't paint over that dead skin and the surface is nice and clean and smooth. I bought this one from Target, from Sally Hansen. I use base coat every time I do my nails and I've been really gravitating towards this one from 10 over 10. I got this from Live Love Polish but you can get this also I think at Sephora. I tend to switch my base coats often but I really like this one plus the bottle is so pretty so I tend to grab it more often. I think 99% of my videos have Sesh V in them. It's my holy grail top coat right now but I've just recently purchased HK Girls Glisten and Glow top coat and I'm hoping I'll love that too once I get it. I have no patience with waiting for my nails to dry, so a fast drying top coat is a must for me. Oops, I should have mentioned this earlier after the cuticle remover, but anyway. With the remover, I use this rubberized cuticle pusher. I'm not a fan of the metal ones, I think they're a bit harsh, and this one is slightly softer and more gentle. I bought mine from Walgreens for a few dollars, and I used to use the wooden type, but this one can be cleaned and is more reusable. My holy grail nail polish remover is Zoya Remove. I've been using it even before I started this nail channel because I find it's gentle and effective. It has glycerin, so it has some moisturizing properties and it doesn't dry out my skin as much as pure acetone does. After finishing up my manicures or just before bed, I like to moisturize my cuticles to keep them healthy. I've been using the C&D Solar Oil for a few months now. It's really nice and it smells amazing, like sweet almonds. It's lightweight, it's easy to apply with a brush as opposed to, say, a cream in a tub. That's it for my top 10 nail care items. Next week, I'll be talking about my top 10 nail art items and decorations that are staples in my nail kit. So please stay tuned. Hey, did, did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We have no thumbs. <laughs> Please subscribe. Bye.